Hello everyone, welcome to Speech with Susan. I am Susan Scoggins, I am a speech pathologist with Houston Area Parkinson Society and this is another uh, video of exercises for breath support, voice, strength of the voice, swallowing, and some cognitive exercise at the end. Okay, let's get started. First thing that we always do, these are all exercises that we do every, every week in my class on Thursdays. Uh, I teach uh, a Zoom class on Thursdays, 10.30 to 11.30 through Houston Area Parkinson's Society. And um, I do that, um, these exercises, because of the importance of the breath support and the strength of the voice and uh, trying to stave off that monotone voice that uh, Parkinson's um, patients usually develop if they, uh, as it progresses. And then we also do swallowing. Okay, so let's get started. The first one is an ah sound. We hold it for 20 seconds. You can hold it as long as you want. And I'll hold mine for 20 seconds. Then I'll ask you to stop the video and do it a few more times. So let's take a big deep breath. Here we go. Ah. Great. Stop the video and do it a few times. I bet you did. All right. Welcome back. Let's do the next one. Uh, the next exercise is a high-pitched E, and the purpose of this is um, keeping that uh, the inflections in our voice when we're speaking, so it's, we don't have the monotone. And so what we do is we do an E sound as high as we can for three to five seconds and we do them one right after another and it's good to do them about five to ten times and we'll do them five times for this class. So here we go, high pitchy. Again. 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 Great. Next on the list. This is a swallowing exercise. It's called the Masako, and then we'll do the Mendelssohn. And if you've been watching the video or attending my classes, you you know the, the story of uh, each one of them, but they are exercises developed by laryngologists, and they have, um, um, they work on certain parts of the swallowing. For instance, the masako, you stick your tongue out, anchor it between your teeth and your lips, and you swallow. You try to do that about five times, and it's not easy, so sometimes you have to take a sip of water, swallow normally, and then you've got some residuals in your mouth and you can uh, swallow that, or we do what we call a dry swallow. The other one is uh, the Mendelssohn, and that's where you're doing a normal swallow, and what's happening is the, here's your airway right here, the epiglottis flips and is always up and it flips and, because you have to breathe. It flips and covers the airway. When you swallow, food and liquid goes down, opens up this upper esophageal sphincter, and then the food moves down to the stomach. And so for this one, we're, uh, we're holding, uh, we're stopping in the middle of the swallow. It's hold, we're holding our breath and, um, and we're holding it for about three to five seconds. So it, it'll look like this. I'll take my glasses off because there's a little bit of strain in my face when I do do this because uh, I'm holding my breath. Okay, so I'm just going to do a normal swallow, but stop. And then I release. And of course, when I release, there's buildup of air pressure below the glottis. And once I leave, uh, epiglottis flips up, air escapes. Um, okay, so that was the Mendelssohn. And doing, do, stop, in the vid, stop the video and do that about four to five times as well. So Masako four to five times, uh, Mendelssohn four to five times. Now I wanna tell you about another one and it's called the Shakur. And that's where you lay on a firm bed or on the floor, carpeted floor rug, and you lift just your head up and you look at your toes. And so you're just watching your toes. You try to hold it for 60 seconds. All right. uh, that's not easy to do. 
So that's the, the third swallowing exercise that we will usually work on. Okay, next one I'm gonna also tell you a little bit about. It is a pucker smile and it's uh, to help maintain labial seal. Uh, so we normally swallow uh, a thousand times a day, but if we're kind of leaning forward and our lips are not sealed, we'll lose that sensation of that we need to swallow as we age and we can start drooling. And it's very prominent in Parkinson's if they're not aware of it. So um, we want to maintain a labial seal. So we we'll start off with a pucker. I'm just going to explain it to you and then if you can stop the video and do it. But you pucker for 60 seconds. Hold that pucker for 60 seconds and with the last 10 seconds pulling tighter because you kind of relax a little bit after 50 seconds, you know, holding that. And then you switch to smiles. Feel that sensation of the lips when they're being stretched. They've been contracted for 60 minutes, 60 seconds, then expanded. Uh, you'll feel a, a sensation of that. Then the buccinator muscles are contracting. All right, so you wanna stop the video and do that a few, two or three times, and that'll take a few minutes. So, but we'll go on. Uh, the next one we is cervical exercises. These are the muscles that support the, the smaller muscles in our neck, um, the, the smaller muscles that we've used for voice and for swallowing. Uh, now we're gonna do muscles that uh, are, are more supportive. So what we'll do is we're gonna turn our chin to our right shoulder, we're gonna drop our left, and we're gonna hold for about 20 seconds, feeling that sensation on the left side of the neck. Okay, chin to the left shoulder, drop that right shoulder, feel the sensation on the right side of the neck of the stretch. Try to get your chin as close to that uh, shoulder as possible. Okay, right ear to right shoulder, drop your left, pull it back, chin at two o'clock position. Okay, left ear to left shoulder, drop your right, pull it back, chin at 10 o'clock position. There's a good stretch from your chin down to the tip of your shoulder. And then the last one is chin to chest, and let's hold for about a few seconds. Feeling that stretch in the back of the neck. Fantastic. Last thing on the list is another breath support exercise. This is where you're inhaling through the nose for a count of three, exhaling through the nose for a count of uh, eight. So I'll count and y'all just breathe mouth closed and just breathe through your um nose okay here we go inhale two three exhale two three four five six seven eight inhale two three exhale two three four five six seven eight inhale two three exhale two three four five six seven eight inhale two three exhale two three four five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, two, three. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, two, three. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, two, three. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, two, three. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, two, three. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last one, inhale, two, three. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great, we got our exercises out of the way. Last thing on our list is we do, we're, we do a little bit of cognitive. And let's get started on that. 
These are geographical double entendres. This exercise combines uh, a trivia game with a geographical place. So, which is a word from the same entirely different, but meaning something entirely different. So let's get started and let's try it. So a city in southwestern Georgia and another word for the prairies. It's called the plains, let me make sure. Yeah, the plains. A county in Ireland or a wine bottle stopper. Cork. A city in the Mojave Desert or sewing tools. Needles. A city in Oregon or female siblings. Sisters, right? Yes, okay. Um, an Irish city or a short, often naughty poem. Limerick. Uh, the former name of the Hawaiian Islands or a common lunch food. I didn't know this. That's, they were called the Sandwich Islands. Hmm. All right. A river located mainly in Idaho or a legless rep reptile. Snake, good. A, a remote Polynesian island or a Christian holiday. Easter. A town in New Mexico or an old time TV game show. Truth or consequences. Can you imagine writing out uh, letters uh, or sending out invitations to everybody in truth or consequences? My goodness. Okay, a city in Italy or a luncheon meet? Bologna or bologna. All right, fantastic. So this was a, uh, another video of Speech with Susan. There's many videos of um, that HAPS uh, provides for physical therapy, speech therapy. I always put out uh, two a month for them. And there's also yoga and Tai Chi, I believe. There's classes online. I teach on Thursdays from 1030 to 1130. And then there's also uh, in-person classes, even boxing. And they've had a lot of uh, resources for caregivers. So Wonderful to be part of the Houston Area Parkinson's Society. And I'll see you at the next Speech with Susan, or maybe I'll see you at uh, my speech class uh, on Thursdays, 1030 to 1130. Okay, take care. Bye.